Now, with the the main character, it he, he is the protagonist. We we do see him as a good guy, but he does have a lot of power. And he does have a lot uh, chances to be corrupt and abuse it. Um, is he actually a good person, or is he just meant to stay in this ambiguous gray, like morality, just like the the city of Chicago itself? Yeah, when when you first meet Pierce, I think you get the sense that he's not entirely a likable guy. You know, you see him beating the crap out of somebody right at the beginning of the game. Um, so I expect that players are going to have a, a, a moment where they're trying to figure out, okay, what do I think of this guy? Do I like him? Is, is, is he somebody that I want to be? But I think, you know, as the game progresses and you start understanding why he's doing what he's doing, what he's after, players will start being able to connect with him. Now, the key with Pierce, though, is he's a guy who says, by any means necessary, he will get what he needs. And that's part of his journey that he has to figure out. You know, how far is he willing to go to get what he wants? Uh, right now, he's, he's driven by, you know, very personal goals, but to the point that, that they're almost selfish goals. And I think he needs to, that, that's something he needs to uh, work through. That's his journey. For players, what we're doing is we're saying, you have all this power. You know, now, where is your line? How far are you willing to go to get what you want? You, know, you can hack anyone you want and get uh, a bank account, but when you see what we've got is profilers on everybody, right? So you can read information about people, read facts about them. So now you can hack that person, but now you have to see that, oh, they've got four kids and they're not making a heck of a lot of money or this guy's unemployed. So it's affecting the choices you're making. And now you're having to decide, okay, well, how far am I going to go for that? And that's player choice. We don't really do a hard judge. It's not like you're going to end up down the evil path if you make bad decisions or the good path. We're not judging you in that sense. We're just saying, let's think about it. You know, you've been given all this access to private information, and you're making judgments on that information. It's what we all do. We all do it. And I think it's just worth kind of raising a flag going, hey, look at what we're all doing. You know, we all do this all the time. We're not trying to point at a player and say, ah, oh, look what you do. I do it too. Everybody does it. And I, I'm hoping that players will just kind of you know, think about it. And, and it does affect choices that players make in the game. I've seen players be like, I, I won't hack him, I won't hack him, ha, I'll hack this guy. Whatever reason they've decided that person's the one they're okay to hack, that's, that's their choice. It's nice because it sort of turns our random NPCs into actual real human beings.